Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about Fajan's rule. Fajan's rule is an important concept in chemical bonding because it details the partial covalent character of ionic bonding. We know an ionic bond is formed by the transfer of electrons between the combining atoms and as a result of this transfer two ions will be formed one cation and an anion. So this cation is a positive ion and anion negative ions. These are held together by strong electrostatic attraction and that is called ionic bonding. This Fajan's rule gives an idea about the partial covalent character of ionic bonding. That means in ionic uh, compounds even though we expect the compound to be purely ionic in nature some sort of covalent character or sharing character we know covalent bond is formed by the sharing of electrons between the combining atoms. So there comes a partial covalent character in this ionic bonding. So this type of uh, partial covalent character of ionic bonding is detailed by Fajan's rule. Okay. Now let us see how the uh, covalent character arises in a purely ionic compound. So when you have two ions a cation A plus and an anion B minus. We know these are assumed to be uh, spherical ions one is a cation other is an anion. Now the electron density or the charge density we can say more uh, more specifically we can say charge density because this is having positive charge and this is having negative charge and this charge density is equally located on either of the ions okay but due to the attraction between this a plus and b minus sometimes there can occur a distribution of charges or the electron density can be shifted from its originally equal or uh, uniform direction to an unequal distribution. Okay. There can be at some times an unequal distribution of electron density and this will uh, result in a sharing like character. See initially we expect a pure electrostatic interaction okay so it is spherically symmetrical the charge density is spherically symmetrical on both ions but due to the attraction sometimes this attraction may result in distortion of the valence cloud of the ions okay the valence shell of the ions can distort at some times due to the interaction between the ions and this distortion is due to several factors and these factors which affect the distortion of the valence shell of the ions or thereby resulting in partial covalent character of ionic bonding is discussed in Fajan's rule. Now let us see how this distortion takes place. So this distortion is otherwise called as polarization. Polarization polarization of ionic bond result in covalent character. So as per Fajan's rule the polarization uh, depends on two factors one is or we can say polarization can take place uh, by cation as well as anion. So we have to remember two terms one is called polarizing power of cation and the other one is called polarizability of anion. So polarizing power of cation and polarizability of anion. These two terms are important in Fajan's rule and uh, according to this rule higher the polarizing power of cation and higher the polarizability of anion more will be the covalent character of ionic bonding. So now let us see what each of this term indicates. Polarizing power of cation means it is the ability of the cation to distort the valence shell of the anion. So when we have an anion say B minus this anion 
will have we know when we compare a cation and anion usually in most of the cases anions will be of larger in size so this anions valence shells will be uh, less strongly bound by the nucleus you know compared to a cation the valence shell of the anion is loosely bound so this anion uh, valence shell can be distorted by the cation or it can be dragged towards the cation and that depends on the polarizing power of the cation so we can say polarizing power of cation is the ability of the cation to distort the valence shell cloud of the anion so how easily this can distort the valence shell of anion so polarizing power depends on many factors first thing is size of cation when you compare the size of cation smaller the size of cation higher will be the polarizing power you can expect uh, the reason because when you have lithium sodium potassium rubidium in these cases down the group size is increasing and we know if the size of cation in all these cases the charge is monopositive all are having unipositive charge but uh, in the case of lithium ion the small the single positive charge is located on a smaller area so we can say the charge density is more so charge density is the factor which affect polarizing power of cation so smaller the size higher will be the charge density and thereby more easily the cation can distort with that high charge density it can easily distort the valence shell cloud of the anion so that is one of the factor favoring polarizing power of cation and another factor which uh, favors polarizing power of cation is the amount of charge or we can say charge on the ion charge on cation or higher the charge uh, we can we have already seen smaller the size higher will be polarizing power secondly larger the charge on the ion cation higher will be the polarizing power for example when you compare lithium plus magnesium 2 plus aluminum 3 plus so we can see the charge is uh, consecutively increasing so from monopositive dipositive to tripositive ion so with increase in charge of the ions we know we can expect there will be higher extent of attraction or uh, this will offer a high degree of attraction to the anion and thereby the valence shell of uh, the anion or the valence shell cloud of anion can easily get distorted if the cation is having a higher charge on it so that is the second factor which favors polarizing power of cation so first one is size of cation should be smaller second one is charge on the cation should be higher and one more factor is there cation without noble gas configuration cation without noble gas configuration that means we know usually an atom becomes an ion in order to attain noble gas configuration for example when you compare lithium plus Uh, magnesium 2 plus when lithium is converted to lithium plus uh, it is getting the nearest noble gas configuration because lithium has only one electron in the valence shell by losing that electron it gets noble gas configuration or its octet will be completed similarly magnesium 2 plus magnesium atom by the removal of two electron uh, can of uh, attain octet configuration so usually we know uh, cations means cations will have noble gas configuration but but there are certain cations which are existent without noble gas configuration i'll give one example say sn2 plus or say pb2 plus these are the uh, the main group element cations without having noble gas configuration we know these both belongs to carbon family you know carbon silicon germanium tin and lead so these two are having two positive charge we know 14th group element 
in order to attain octet they should uh, lose four electrons but here only two electrons are lost so they have become cation but they are octet or but they are not having noble gas configuration so such system also have or such cations will, will also have high polarizing power so that also favors covalent character of ionic bonding so that is uh, about the polarizing power of cation we have seen higher the polarizing power of cation more will be the covalent character of ionic bonding and polarizing power of a cation is the ability of the cation to distort the valence shell cloud of the anion towards itself thereby giving a partial sharing like nature or a covalent nature so this polarizing power of cation is favored by mainly three factors uh, one is the size of the cation the cation should be of smaller size so that its charge density will be more and hence more easily it can distort uh, the valence shell of the anion secondly uh, size uh, sorry charge on the cation should be higher so with higher positive charge if there are more positive charge more easily it can attract the valence shell or more easily it can distort the valence shell thereby can cause polarization and third factor is cations without noble gas configuration would have a high polarizing power without noble gas configuration means cations like sn2+ pb2+ then also we have transition metal ions most of the cation uh, the transition metal uh, cations have variable valency and many of them have incomplete octet so these ions would have high polarizing power compared to a cation with noble gas configuration so this is about the polarizing power of cation which favors covalent character so after seeing the polarizing power of cation now let's see the polarizability of anion so just like cations have polarizing power anions have polarizability so we can define polarizability as the tendency of anion we know always the valence shell of anions are being distorted because they are of comparatively bigger in size anions so uh, anions cloud how easily the anion uh, valence shell is distorted so that uh, tendency of the anion is called polarizability so we can define polarizability of the anion as the tendency of the anion to get distorted by the cation so that is the polarizability of anion so that also uh, is favored by many factors first of all of course size we know for polarizing power of cation size should be smaller but here what we uh, we know the condition we require is the anion should easily get distorted so for that it should be of larger in size because we know if the anion size is very smaller the nucleus will have a strong attraction over the valence shell so in that case the distortion would be difficult so what is the condition we know the size should be larger if the anion size is larger the nucleus of the anion is not having that much influence on the valence shell so that the valence shell can easily get distorted by the cation so we can say size should be more anions with larger size secondly charge just in the case of uh cation it should have a higher charge anion also should have a higher charge if we have high negative charge it can easily get attracted by the cation with higher charge so size should be more and charge also should be more so both size and uh, higher size and higher charge favors polarizability of anion so when you compare anions like fluoride chloride bromide and iodide we know the polarizability is more for iodide this is the order of polarizability because iodide is having more size okay size in with increase in size the polarizability or distortion of valence shell will be easier and when you have a 
chloride and sulfate when you sulfate would be having more polarizability because of the higher extent of charge so these are the two factors favoring polarizability of anion size of the anion should be higher so that the valence shell can be easily get distorted and charge on the anion should be more so this way polarizability or we can say the ability tendency of the cation to get distorted by the uh, tendency of anion to get distorted by the cation will be more so that's about polarizability now we can just summarize fajan's rule so according to fajan's rule the covalent character of an ionic compound is favored by high polarizing power of cation and high polarizability of anions so when you are given different compounds you, you can compare how their ionic character or covalent character uh, say for example you have sodium chloride sodium bromide and sodium iodide so in these three ions in these three ionic compounds cation is same the anion we know the size of anion is increasing progressively in this way so with increase in size of anion polarizability of anion will be more and covalent character will be more so we can say we can arrange them in the order of covalent character as sodium chloride less than sodium bromide less than sodium iodide iodide ion being larger size uh, offer higher covalent character so co the order of covalency uh, is in this way and in the same way we can compare the covalent character of um, say lithium bromide potassium bromide rubidium bromide cesium bromide so here also we know the anion is same in all these cases and the cation we know size of cation is increasing from lithium to potassium rubidium and cesium so size of uh, and size of cation is increasing this way we know higher the size of cation lesser will be the polarizing power or we can say polarizing power is favored by a smaller size of cation so in this case we can say covalency will be more for lithium bromide because this is a smaller cation which offer high charge density so the order of covalent character will be this one so this way you can compare different species whatever be the different uh, given species you can compare the covalent character for example if you are given a uh, for example a mono positive ion and a di positive ion we know di positive ion would have higher covalent character so in that way you can compare whatever number of ionic compounds based on their um, polarizing power of cation and polarizability of anion so these are the essence of fajan's rule hope you all understood this thank you